वेलकम डियर व्यूअर्स टू द वीडियो ऑन रिजोल्यूशन मीडिया सिलेक्शन एंड रिजोल्यूशन वॉल्यूम सिलेक्शन सिलेक्टिंग द डिजोल्यूशन मीडिया एंड इट्स वॉल्यूम बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्यूरिंग द डिजोल्यूशन मेथड डेवलपमेंट फॉर फॉर्मुलेशन विच आर एडमिनिस्ट्रेड बाय ओरल रूट मेनली एंड ऑल्सो फॉर द अदर फॉर्मुलेशन considering the oral formulations there are some key considerations while you are selecting the dissolution media there are some thumb rules or general practices or you can say the best practices so i have covered almost all information regarding the dissolution media and volume selection and i hope after watching this video you will be having good understanding and complete knowledge about the dissolution media volume and media selection first of all is the sink condition as we know sink condition is required for dissolution testing to have reproducibility and to have reliable reliable dissolution results media and media volume should be sufficient to dissolve api quantity equivalent to 3 times of the highest strength or the highest dose if the formulation is having multiple strengths like tablet of 100 mg 50 mg and 25 mg then that dissolution media should dissolve at least 300 mg of the dose volume should be equal to the volume required to form saturated solution into 3 that means 3 times of the saturation volume should be used sink condition is required for getting the complete dissolution or complete drug release and it is required to have the true behavior of the doses form if the sink condition is not meeting then there are chances that the drug release is dependent on to the media so, uh, solubility of the api in the media and not as the doses form dependent select the media in which the sink condition is achieved if your api is having ph dependent solubility so select the media in which it is giving the sink condition there are some other considerations also so those we are going to cover in the upcoming slides the drug substance should be stable in the media if you have selected for example the acid media for acid labile drugs then that uh, drug will get degraded in the media and you will not get the clear dissolution results you will always get dissolution on lower side because of the drug degradation so the drug should be stable in the media the solution should be also stable throughout the dissolution run time and the analysis time generally the best practice is to have the solution state stability of 24 hours some of the professionals consider 3 days for the solution state stability also if if the api is not at all stable then some stabilizers can be introduced antioxidants can be used so stabilizers and antioxidants like bha bht ascorbic acid can be used some others also these are only the examples if the drug is much sensitive and if it is demonstrated by the dissolution studies so the example of samostatin is there in that some antioxidants are used in the dissolution media because the api get degraded and to have the true picture of the formulation in the dissolution the stabilizers are used the ph of the media should be in the physiological range and generally ph 1 to 7 1 to 6.8 or 1.2 to 6.8 ph media is used sometime ph media of uh, 7.5 or 8 is used for some specific formulations simulated media can be used like simulated gastric fluid that is sgf simulated intestinal fluid that is sif to have the 
understanding about the formulation behavior in the in vivo conditions. Fasted and fasted simulated media can be used. These media can simulate the in vivo conditions, can mimic the gastric and intestinal fluid composition and the pH. That's why these media can be utilized. Water can be used as a media if the drug substance shows high solubility across the physiological pH range media or across the physiological pH range. But generally water is not used or not a preferred media because of the pH variation in day to day, active, uh, day, -to -day uh, dissolution run and also uh, it does not have the buffer capacity. So, water is not a preferred media but for some of the formulations water is used then the media whatever is selected should have the in vivo in vitro correlation then if the media is used and if the uh, sink condition is not maintained or sink condition is not achieved then surfactant can be used to have the sink condition generally for low soluble drugs belonging to bcs class 2 and 4 the surfactants can be used and their level should be justified the surfactant selection and its level of use to be studied and justified based on the dissolution studies using the different surfactants and the selected surfactant at low optimum and high surfactant concentration so that you can justify the selection of surfactant enzymes can be used if there is a formulation like a hard gelatin capsule or gelatin coated tablet and if you observe that the cross linking is happening and because of that cross linking the dissolution is on lower side or it is varying so if pellicle formation is there in the gelatin if the cross linking is observed in the formulations containing gelatin then enzymes can be utilized enzymes are selected based on to the media ph like pepsin is used if the media is acidic and pancreatin is used if the media is basic ph enzymes can be used if there is dissolution failure due to gelatin crosslinking in the formulations like soft gelatin capsules hard gelatin capsules and the gelatin coated formulation like gelatin coated tablets then another consideration is the formulation design so dissolution media varies based on to the api solubility and also on to the formulation design so immediate release formulation we are going to cover delayed release formulation modified release formulations like extended release formulation prolonged release or sustained release we will see immediate release formulations which release more than 80 percent of the api within uh, uh, for example 15 minutes or 30 minutes and if these uh, formulations contain bcs class 1 or 3 apis then point on normal scl can be used as a media and generally for ir formulations acidic medias are preferred if the formulation contains BCS class 1 drug substance and if it is uh, having a faster release profile then you can consider using the acidic media. So for BCS class 1 drugs these are having the high solubility and high permeability. Bioavailability is more than 85% or close to 100% and there is less chance of degradation or no degradation and first pass first pass metabolism these have high solubility in the medias with physiological ph range of point, uh, 1.2 to 6.8 or 7.5 and the absorption of these bcs class 1 apis is not site dependent the excipients have less impact or no impact onto the dissolution of bcs class 1 drugs contained in the immediate release formulations also the dt should be considered for selecting the dissolution media and media volume ir formulation with quick disintegration let's say for example 5 to 10 minutes or 5 to 7 minutes 
and if this release above 80 percent in 15 minutes or 30 minutes then the formulation gets disintegrated in the stomach or in the gastric environment of acidic pH and dissolution is rapid or very rapid. So the media is like 0.1 normal SCL, 0.01 normal SCL and SGF media with or without enzymes can be used. Generally for BCS class 1 drug substances formulations, surfactants are not used, not recommended and are not required because of the high solubility. Media with pH 4.5 or 6.8 or other media pH can be used if the drug's behavior is studied and if the drug is weak acid in nature. Water cannot be preferred choice depending on to the nature of the molecule that is acidic or basic nature. Coming to the BCS class 3 APIs in the IR formulations. The Bioavailability of BCS class 3 APIs or drug substance is low. These exhibit high solubility in the medias with physiological pH range and absorption may be site dependent or site specific in the intestine. For the IR formulations containing BCS class 3 APIs, the excipients may have impact on the dissolution. The IR formulation with quick disintegration time within 5 to 10 minutes and if it is releasing above 80 percent in the 15 minutes, then formulation gets disintegrated in the acid environment or gastric environment or in stomach. So similar to the BCS class 1 drug substances IR formulations, media like 0.1 normal SCL, 0.01 normal SCL and SGF medias can be used with or without enzymes. Surfactants are generally not required here also. Medias with other pH like pH 4.5 and 6.8 can be used if the drugs are weak acid in nature. Depending on the acidic and basic nature of the API, the media can be different. Water can, water can also be used but not a preferred media. So now for the BCS class 2 and 4 drugs and formulated into IR formulations, the medias are selected on case by case basis. The surfactants are selected based on to the molecular, molecule nature and these are justified based on the formulation design and the dissolution results. But generally the acid medias are used for the IR formulations containing BCS class 2 and 4 AP. For the formulations which are delayed release or gastro resistant formulations, the dissolution is performed in acid media and then followed by the basic media or neutral media. So dissolution in 0.1 normal SCL is performed for 2 hours generally and 1 hour for some of the formulations for acid resistance testing. That is the criteria with not more than 10% release in the acid media. And then the media with pH range of basic pH. That basic pH media is used for the Q point release. Then modified release formulations, the media is selected based on the formulation design and the API solubility. Generally, the media with neutral pH or basic pH is selected for modified release formulations. Media for modified release formulations like extended release, sustained release, Prolonged release is with intestinal pH range and it varies on case by case basis. Media volume selection. Media volume should be such that the sink condition is met. The USB1 basket apparatus, if used, then media volume should be 500 ml to 1000 ml. Commonly 900 ml is the media volume used for many of the formulations. If USB paddle apparatus is used, the same volume can be used like USB 1. 500 ml to 1000 ml and common volume is 900 ml. Based on the BCS solubility and standard dissolution conditions, 500 ml media can be used. For BCS class 1 and 3 
API is formulated into IR formulations. Generally, 500 ml media is suitable and considered as per the standard dissolution conditions and requirements. Justifications are required for using 900 ml media for highly soluble BCS class 1 and 3 API formulations. Volume above 1000 ml can be used if sink condition is not meet in 900 ml or 1000 ml. So for low soluble APIs, media volume of 2000 ml to 4000 ml can be used and if used then justifications are required. Low volume can be used for some low dose formulations. So to have good analytical suitability and to have analytical sensitivity the dissolution can also be performed in low volume media like 100 ml to 200 ml usp3 apparatus if used then the media volume around 3 ml can be used in ease of the vessel usp3 apparatus is called as reciprocating cylinder apparatus and it is used for some of the formulations in some cases the volume can be increased to between 2 liter to 4 liters using larger vessels and depending on the concentration and sink condition of the drug so justification for this is expected by the regulatory authorities this is regarding the media volume selection now once again we will quickly review the key considerations for media and media volume so sink condition is the required drug should be stable then it's the media selected should have bioreleivance and should be having iv ivc prediction it should be a part of discriminatory method there should be a use of no surfactant if the apis are soluble and if the apis are not soluble then little level or little concentration of surfactant can be used and it is required to be justified generally organic and alcoholic component is avoided in the dissolution media and if it is not at all possible to perform dissolution without uh, alcoholic component then with thorough understanding and justification the alcoholic component can be included then the media should be easy to prepare and easy to use in the commercial setting whenever you are going to have the media for qc release so this is regarding the dissolution media and volume selection i hope you might have got the understanding for the basics of dissolution media volume selection and dissolution media selection in the dissolution method development thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe to this channel thank you